Hi, good day to you. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at my lights in the back, especially the brake lights. They're not actually coming on. Although the the lights, the back lights do come on, but the um, but the brake lights are not coming on. So you basically have two screws here, which I've taken. I've already loosened a bit. So I'm going to take that off. So now. Basically, it should come out if you just wiggle it a bit. All right, so when I do move it a bit, yeah, it eventually does come out. Um, I think it's that stubborn clip down there, which those two clips here needs. A little bit of a wiggle. You gotta be careful. You don't actually damage the lens. Now on this, the uh, one that should be is this, this guy here. So if you take that out and then you look at that loop, uh, wait. Look, doesn't look so bad after all. Sometimes it's it's not the globe, it's actually the switch behind the brake pedal. Alright, as you can see there's no reading at all. Alright, so if I put the ignition on, I managed to make some sort of a way of pressing that the pedal like this. And we should see something happening here. Uh, the light's not coming on. So which means then that it's a switch because both of them not working. And it's very unlikely that both will be will be faulty. Both of the lights will be faulty. So that means now the hard work starts with going back to the pedal. Alright, as you can see there's no reading at all. Okay, so I'm at the pedal. Now, right at the top there is, is a switch. Um, and that switch, if you press the pedal, should come on. And that's most likely where the problem might be. So, I've got to see if I can get it out. Alright, so there's the switch. So, as I said, when you press the pedal it obviously engaged so we got to test for connectivity and see if this is the guy it's the problem I've had this problem before with the same switch um, I think I should need to replace it uh, but yeah I'm just gonna go and test it now first um, but basically it was size 14, unscrew it and then you unclip these connectors and then basically you just turn it out. Alright, so when you test it, yeah, let's see, it's, let's switch off, that's where the, so when you press the pedal, it goes on. So, the switch seems to be okay. So if I have the, the switch on, the light does come on, So, which is quite strange. It looks more like an adjustment with the pedal and that switch, um, which I'm going to have to try and do now. But that's quite interesting. So I've already checked the fuses as well before I did all this. So basically maybe first check the fuses, then check the light. Or the, and then of course if it all fails also make sure you get 12 volts there um, but anyway let me go and check the pedal again thank you so much alright so there we go I'm pressing it there and it's there it goes off on Even if I press very softly, it does come on. 
and that's what you want. I mean, it's, it's a car. So basically, it's that switch there that needs to engage, as you can see. So I've bought it out more. I'm just going to screw that in so it doesn't move. Um, but that's what needs to happen. So when you press the pedal, the switch should come on. And hopefully that sorts the problem out now.